Hey guys, it's a nice day. I look at these hairs. I'm gonna look so dumb, but the only thing I have down here is this headband. So I'm gonna be rocking some hearts right now. All my husbands are upstairs. And if you live in a two-story house, then you know what the struggle is to go upstairs. So I'm wearing freaking hearts on my head. Look, you can't even tell. There you go. Oh my lord, and then look at my neck hairs. I'm just hairy and gross. It is 11.30, Jonathan's on his way here for lunch, and as requested, he wanted a sopa maruchan for lunch, so that is exactly what I'm gonna make him. This morning, I was in my feelings. I just got so emotional because Sophie's like almost turning one, and I don't know, mm, it's just gonna be so sad. And Jonathan's not gonna be here for her first birthday. And I, yeah, mama. And Sophie was talking and standing and walking like along the wall in her room. And I was just watching her and I just. Oh. And Jonathan has no idea. And he's not gonna know. It's just. <laughs> Did you think I was gonna scare you? No, but I was wondering why you didn't make your hands. <laughs> Say hi, Daddy! What are you wearing? Oh, my head. I don't want to go upstairs for a headband. Jonathan already ate his soup and I just made my own. And this counter is a whole mess because we're just a hot mess. Right, baby? Ah, look at Sophie over there, she's eating a cookie. Okay <gasps> guys, so now we're on our way on base. I'm gonna drop off Jonathan at work and I'm gonna go um, to this thing. Is there like an MWR everywhere? Or is it just Navy or what is it? Yeah, it's everywhere, well, everywhere in the Navy. Okay, so we're going, to, or I'm going to MWR. Actually, it's going to be everywhere, anyways. Um, which is basically this place where they have like a bunch of stuff that you can rent out, right? Is it just that? Pretty much. I yeah. mean, they, got, they do a bunch of stuff. Yeah, they do a lot of stuff. But um, it's just convenient for us. Yeah, so basically what I'm going to do is just go uh, rent out or reserve a table and chairs for this weekend because we already took our dining table to the storage and our dining table doesn't even fit anyone. It's only for four people and we always struggle. So uh, I'm gonna get a table and chairs for Saturday for Sophie's little birthday thing. And they're also having like, this fundraiser where they're selling nachos and I really want some. So I'm probably gonna pass by and grab some nachos too. And also my friend that lives on base, I'm gonna go by her house and drop off some stuff. So yeah, that's the only reason why I'm taking Jonathan to work because I never take him to work. Yeah. Is the heater on? It's hot. Is that? It's cold outside. Outside, not here. But yeah, I know this is the worst angle of me, but Jonathan has the heater on on the seat, so I sat down and it's super, super warm. Okay, so basically everything that I was gonna do was fail. So I was gonna go get the nachos, but I think I have to get off and I don't want to because it's windy and I don't want to get Sophie off and then put her back in her car seat so I was like, okay, I'm not going to do that so then I went to the MWR to rent out the chairs and they're closed today and tomorrow so we have to come on Thursday and yeah, so it was a fail but now I'm on my way to my friend's house to drop off some stuff and I think I'm going to go to the outlets because I have us an outfit did I bring it? oh my gosh, I don't think I brought it I'm still gonna go because I have to check some stuff out, but I wanted to exchange an outfit that I have for Sophie. But I also needed to look for something else. I'm still gonna go because I have to come pick up Jonathan anyways. Oh shit, I should've put gas. Uh, what a dummy. I am so bummed out that I didn't bring that outfit that I wanted to exchange for Sophie. It's one. I think it's up to four, so let me just make sure it doesn't get up to four. Please leave your message for nine five. 
Bueno. What's up? Oye, ¿sales hasta las 4? Uh, should be, yes. Ah, bueno, voy a ir a los outlets. Ok. Sola. Uh. All right. So, ¿Con Sofía, I'm assuming? Pues sí. Ok. All right. All right. Pues, if I call you, pues, ¿te vienes? Está bueno. Está bueno. Está bueno. I don't think I would ever enjoy living on base. You have to drive freaking 10 miles an hour. I feel like a freaking snail. I'm never gonna get to where I'm going or something. You guys, that guy is just feeling himself. Dang, you can see him. Oh, you can see him. He was like in the corners, jamming and dancing. Dang. I wish I would have whipped out my camera earlier. Whatever. You guys, I hear the freaking train right outside the base. Um, there's a train that always goes by. But I'm not sure what time it goes by, but it's one. And I think it's just gonna come out. Eh, I hope I'll be the train. We'll see. Alright guys, I just got to the outlets. It's just me and Sophie. Um, Cause it's like, I don't know, just something I want to do just to get out of the house. I rarely go out by myself, but... I just needed to get it out. By the way, you got we got Mississippi plates. <sighs> oh, so sad. But Texas was not working with us. It was this whole fiasco. So whatever. Now we have Mississippi plates. And I never thought I would say that we have Mississippi plates. Put on your little hood because it's so cold. You smiling? I know. The wind is so hard. Hi. You want to hold the camera? <laughs> Selfie cam. Selfie cam. Right. Give it to mama. Uh. Okay, you'll keep it, you'll keep it, okay. The sun is out, but it's so windy, oh my goodness. Where are you, my watches? We are going to Carter's first. This is so cute, covers your ears. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm back in my vehicle. I went to Carter's Gymboree Child's Place, Children's Place, uh, Oshkosh Bagage, and Route 21. But I basically just wanted to get out and walk around, and I was just looking for one certain thing and I didn't find it. But I just got Sophie this headband and these little ruffle socks and then these little socks with the bow in the back and the total for these three things at Jimboree was eight dollars so that wasn't bad and then at Route 21 I just got this mustard yellow shirt for five dollars so it was like five something and it's just this shirt it's a little bit cropped it's not all the way like down to my jeans and then the sleeves are like bell sleeves is that what they're called whatever the heck they're called so i just got the shirt for five dollars and that was it and honestly it just sucks how like everybody is i went to a couple of stores and i think rule 21 was the only one where people like were nice but other than that like all the baby stores I went to. Oh, and the uh, children's place. They were super sweet there. But like Carter's and Oshkosh Bagaj, like nobody even like acknowledged me at all. Didn't say like, hi, welcome, or you know? Like, mm, I don't know if it's just, like a racism thing. <sighs> I would like to say it's not a racism thing, but it just sucks that they act like I'm a freaking wall, like I'm a nobody, like nobody walked in, like a freaking ghost walked in, they have no idea that I'm in the store, they don't ask me if I'm looking for something in particular, you know, like they regularly do, like, I don't know, but whatever, plus it's empty, 
like nobody else is in there nobody's here so i would think that they'd be excited that there's a customer to talk to or something but you know whatever i wanted to go to uh, hobby lobby but I think Sophie might knock out. She hasn't taken a nap, so I don't know what I should do. But I'm so over these people. Now I'm at Hobby Lobby and I'm in the search for a turquoise onesie, which I found one at Carter's, but it wasn't in Sophie's size. So I mean, it's not a big deal if I don't find it. She's just gonna wear a pink onesie, but still, just trying to be out and about. Ready? She was gonna talk to her grandma, but she didn't answer. Grandma didn't answer, huh? All right, so at Hobby Lobby, I bought this turquoise onesie. I wanted it darker, but whatever, it doesn't matter. And these little bows for Sophia, for her hair. I was looking for a turquoise onesie just because of her little trolls theme party. You know, Poppy wears that like turquoise dress thing, but I just want her to wear a onesie inside the house. So um, it's gonna be her outfit. So like I was saying, I got her the little um, turquoise onesie because um, Poppy wears that blue little turquoise dress. So I just want her to wear just a onesie so she could be comfortable. And I also uh, ordered her this little headband, this poppy headband, and it was like $2 from Walmart. So I ordered her that, and I have to go pick it up in the store. I think tomorrow it gets there. Oh, wait, no. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday it gets there. For some reason, I feel like today is Wednesday. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so yeah, it's going to be her little birthday outfit for her trolls theme birthday party. I'm planning on making like a video on... DIY decorations because all the decorations for her little birthday party I'm gonna do myself because it's just a little party at home so yeah like I'm gonna stop by the store right now because I'm gonna buy tissue paper because I want to do that little tassel garland and the tassel garlands at the stores are so expensive like at Hobby Lobby it was I think $14 and maybe if you have 50% off coupon okay it comes out to $7 but I think it's easier and cheaper just to do it yourself. So yeah, I came to pick up Jonathan and he's freezing cold. You okay? <laughs> Are you alive? It's cold. Did it work? No. Huh? Um. Buggle. I, I gave in. Did you get what snacks? You gonna buy snacks? How much? Pre-made. Four dollars. That's what you wanted, no? Yeah. That's good. But I was gonna DIY it. You are gonna DIY it? I was then. Oh, yeah. by the way, John, this is DIY instead of DIY. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna open it, but then I can't put it back in here. You guys, so we ate some leftovers that we had in the fridge. And we decided to bring down the mirror dresser that we have. Um, if you guys don't know, we have a mirror dresser. I did a DIY video. It was like a regular dresser and then I just revamped it to a mirror dresser. So we took off the drawers so it could be less heavy, but it was still extremely heavy. And my hands hurt, my feet hurt, my legs hurt. That was just really, really, really intense situation trying to bring it down these stairs because the stairs are first you go down and then there's like a little hallway and then you go down so you know that whole situation so it was really really tough but Jonathan and I brought it down and at the last step one of the mirrors cracked so much so much for bringing it down but whatever it's down here I don't know what we're what else we're gonna do but I'm really tired so I'm gonna end the vlog here because I also don't have a lot of memory left. So this will be the end of the vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed this long-ish vlog. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!